Hello everyone, this is Niraj. Welcome back to the channel. If you people are new over here, subscribe this channel because I saw an amazing stuff on web development. So suppose a scenario where you will upload some files from your main server to Cloudinary or S3 bucket or let's say space storage or object storage. So today we are going to create that server where we will upload files from our main server. So without wasting our time, let's start the video. So as you can see, I am here on eraser.io, a very good app to create graphics. So let's make two servers. Suppose this is our two servers. This is the main server. It will communicate directly with the front end. And suppose this is our asset server. Okay, so it will provide us a URL so that we can store it on user model on from the main server so our task is to create these two servers so as you can see i have created a folder name custom cloudinary to save data and i will just open command inside this folder yeah so i will say hey i want to create a directory name main server and it will do my task and let's create the assets server okay so as you can see these two folders has been created so inside this folder let's open v our vs code so i'll just say code and dot and it will open vs code inside this folder so let me cut this terminal and open a terminal control shift and this backspace Okay, so I'm here on Bass. Let me switch to PowerShell because some of you guys don't understand Bass, right? I don't want WSL. Yeah, PowerShell. So let me go to first main server and let's create this server. So I will just say npm init. And it will initialize a project for me let me zoom in yep okay main server the name is great version one point default main server to upload files from files will be uploaded to assets server and entry point index.js let's call it main.js because it is main server right and test command there is nothing git repo i will say you once i create keyword main server all right i will just say javascript and node.js author yeah the most important license no yes okay so yeah it has initialized the project successfully so let's create the file main.js it will be our entry point and i will say console.log main file is working to check if it is working and i'll go to package.json and let's create a command name start and let's say node main.js let's write here in pm start and yep main file is working so it is working successfully and in this video we are going to use express framework to create our backend app so let me install express and we will need node mod because it will automatically restart the server whenever we make some changes inside the file and i will also need multer to upload files inside this main server okay and axios to make post request to this asset server to create file okay so it will install okay so as you can see this packages has been installed successfully so let us recheck this inside our package.json yep axios express multer and node one and inside this instead of node i will say node one because it has to restart the server right whenever we make some changes and inside main.js let's create a custom 
a basic backend app so i'll just say const express from where require me a package name express and i will just make this app with express so it will just transfer all this power express power to this app okay so what is it telling npm i okay so let's install it this is type of express and okay i will just say app dot listen on port and let's console it backend is running on port but it will give undefined right because port is not defined and it is a good practice to write this port inside dot env file so i will just install a package name dot env and create a dot env and i will just clear it okay so inside dot env i will just say port equal let call it 8000 this is the main server and i will just say here hey require me a package dot env dot config and it will allow us to write every variables inside this file in this file so i'll just say hey const port is coming from process dot env dot port and let's check if it is working perfectly fine so i'll just write npm start okay back in running on 8000 so this is the main server is completed successfully i let create a folder here name uploads where we will upload all the files coming from front end we will save files inside this folder temporarily so once it will go to asset server we will just unlink the file from there or delete the file from this folder so i'll just kill this terminal and let's create this asset server so i'll just go one directory back and go inside assets right assets server and inside assets server i will just write npm in it and it will initialize a package for me asset server is fine version description server to store files and entry point index.js let's call it as assets.js nothing there is nothing keyword assets storage author yep and license yeah is this okay and i will just install all these command except multi yeah i will say why because we are not going to upload this file inside this asset server we are just going to just save the file inside this yep there is different in saving and uploading the file we are going to save here not upload i will say no worry so i will just install express and dot env because we want put right to listen on node one to restart the server whenever we make any changes and it will install all these packages okay so as you can see dependencies has been updated successfully and i will just create this main entry point assets dot js and i will just write hey const express equal require express and it will say us to install this so i will just install it 
and everything is working fine so i'll just write const app equal to initialize this express and i will just listen on port the same as before and inside this if you see we have already installed this dot env so let me require this here dot env and dot config okay so let me create this port called process dot env dot port so let me create dot env and inside this port equal to let's say 8080 okay and let me give it a call back console.log assets server is running on and port so let me start this server and let's check if, if everything is working perfectly yep because we have not specified inside this script start node one assets.js and when we restart the server it will automatically yep asset server running on i think i forgot to add one zero here so let me restart it again and yep get it okay so let me come back to eraser again it is the main server where the front end will directly communicate with this server so we have to upload files right on this server first so let me just go to main server and just write npm start and let me open another okay so change directory main server and npm start yep so these two servers are running now so let me import a file multer and if you remember we already installed this multer okay so this is the actual function storage and to make the file unique we will add day dot now i don't want add to day dot now one day dot now is enough and file dot original name okay so i'll just cut it and right here app dot post we are using post right to post data and inside api and upload file it will take two parameter right request and response and we also make this file async because it is a synchronous function it will take some time so i'll just write hey i want to use try and catch and inside catch just error the console the error and inside try we have also to upload the file right so i'll just say upload dot single and the file name to be file data let's make this small or big no much no worry and if everything is working perfectly we will receive something on your requested file and if there is not requested file okay let me just console it here requested file first let's check what is coming here and i don't have motor has already been declared. okay 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 so actually we have declared this multer twice so let me cut it and just restart the server okay so it is now back here running on 8000 so let me open the postman app and try to send some files so let me cut it and just okay actually this is the main server where i was storing so we have this 
upload file what we have upload file so and it is actually 8000 not 3000 and image data there is there is file data actually this field name and this field names will be matched okay so i actually made a wrong okay file data so i will send this and let's check what it is saying not such file or directory okay so it is actually sending us an error saying no such directory yep there is no directory right so i'll just say here uploads and let's send this and yep as you can see our file has been uploaded successfully and here we get our file information right so i will just cut this and by making this reference i will just say first of all what we will do first say response dot status of 404 not found dot json and i'll just write success false and message file is empty or let's say file we are unable to upload the file yep and if everything is working perfectly so i'll just create a function here inside utilities i will just say upload on assets server dot js it is utility right because it will be reusable and it will be used inside this main server quite often so i'll just say hey const i just want to upload and let first declare the function const upload on assets server asynchronous because it will take some time right because we are making this post request and i will just require package name what happened okay it will be axios and i will just try and catch this and it should return null if it got any error and let's just console the error dot message and i'll just write return url and url is something like coming from this server so we are here on this function so let me just call it from here const upload file await upload yep actually i have to export this module dot exports equal upload on asset server and i will just import from here and it will take file path right and it will come in from here file name and then this path so i'll just say request dot file dot what is file path dot path dot path and yep no request dot response now i just want file path here and let console this if we are getting it okay so let me send this request again yeah we are getting this file path inside this function and let me cancel this and let's make a post request but but we need to make a post request here right inside our asset so we'll say slash api slash story image yeah story image is fine story image 
and it will take a response a respo response a request and it will be a synchronous function because it will take some time to upload the file and i will just say try and catch just return null and console the error error dot message and inside try let us first console request dot body so i will just say const upload equal and we have to use await because it will take some time axios dot okay it is actually post and the url i will give the full url localhost and then it is atat and api and a store file or a store image okay store image so let me change this to file because there can be any file right video audio or image so store file and inside this i will just say the field name field name is file data and file data is file path so i will just write here okay registered body and just and then save now just console it upload dot data and let us check what it is coming here let me send this and it will say upload okay so let me send this again and you are getting here undefined this is file right so we want to read this file okay so yep so let me restart the server again inside this asset server let me restart the server and inside this main server and backing running on ATAT. so we were on upload on asset server so i will just say read file equal of it it will take some time so i have to just file system require fs so fs okay so let me install this npm install fs and it will just install it and npm start okay so it is now started so i'll just save the fs dot read file and file is file path so i'll just console it and let us check what it gives here okay so the cb car remain must be a type function received it undefined the file path and inside this read file it is saying the cv argument must be of type function received undefined okay so are we getting the file path so let send this request and yeah we are going this we are getting this file path but let me import it from fs yep it is actually fs dot promises so what is the issue yep yep i got the issue it is a read file just copy it here and 
read file actually due to this name the name is same right read file read file so i'll just say file content instead of read file and yep so let us check what it gives us and as you can see it is giving us a buffer so i will just send it here and yep this is actually file content and inside assets let me get this requested body okay so let me send this and you will see file path upload okay we are sending this file data and file content and i will just we are sending this file content to this file data and why i'm not getting requested body let us check okay so actually why we are getting this undefined that was a silly mistake because we didn't parse here, right? We want to use JSON, so I will say app dot use express dot JSON. We are accepting this requested body, right? So we we have to write this express dot JSON, and it should work perfectly fine now. I just cancel it and send it, and yep, as you can see, we are getting this buffer file type buffer and data. So I will say if there is not request dot body dot what was the name file data we can also see here request dot file data file data just return response dot status four o four and json as success false and let us provide the message file doesn't exist file doesn't exists and then read and then let create the file here so i'll just write we have this file data coming from buffer dot from requested body dot file data and we are using base 64 to write our file and file names will be requested body dot file name okay so actually we are not getting this file name we need to get this file name too and i will say file name so hey just send this file name and inside our main server i will just send this file name to so i will say request dot file dot file name okay so inside this and uh, let we are writing file sync uploads and then this file name file name will be something like this dot jpg or dot png or dot something and this file data so let us return so i'll just make this url equal to let us give it back tick and this server url at at yep it is at at and then inside uploads and file name okay so i will just return this url inside url i just return this url and okay actually it is capital and let me send the request again and you will see okay error fs is notified yep 
actually we didn't import this fs right const f is equal to require fs and let me send this request again and it will just create this file yeah it will in it will loop infinite because we have not re return anything right but 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 here we are getting the file how amazing it is so i'll just return here upload dot data okay so after doing this we are returning upload upload dot data and let console this upload file and return a status response dot status of 200 is everything working fine and success true and upload file okay so let me send this again and you will see it will take some time okay it has read successfully but what is the error why you not see me so we'll just console it here what i am getting and let me send this again we'll be getting this file path is this sending something let me console the url yep the url we are getting successfully fine and okay 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 i don't have to i can't return it right because it is not a function it is a api so i'll just say 200 and i will just write json success true and this url okay so let me send this and yeah as you can see we are get successfully getting this request and when i click here and just send it we are not getting this file because 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 inside this asset server we are not allowing this static file to read by the front end right so i'll just write app.use express dot static and the file name uploads and when i go here and send it okay so but we have to specify the api right whenever someone go to a uploads actually slash uploads so you need to send this express dot static and inside this upload so let me send this and as you can see we can successfully see this image but there is one issue let me delete this first if i am not getting yep we will handle it here right so i'll say if not upload file just return we are unable to upload the file and 400 okay so inside this okay so after doing all this let's just unlink the file and i will say await on link and the file path file path yep and you will see whenever we try to upload this file it will upload here for temporarily and after uploading it and getting response from there it will just automatically unlink the file or if there is any error 
let me unlink this file too because we don't want to store here right and i will just send this and you will see it is unlinked successfully and when i clicked here and send it it will, you will can see this image okay so actually you can make a SaaS application with this you can create this server and just like cloudinary you can allow any person to upload their file on this server by authentication if there is access token and the name of the bucket you can actually store the file here i will give you an exercise to delete the file you don't need to do anything just create another function and inside this you can send the url from here and you know url is unique so it will just send the url and inside this you can say app dot delete and slash a page slash delete file and if there is this url you can delete the file you can unlink it simply by extracting this file name you can go to this upload inside upload and you can unlink the file just like this just like this we were unlinking this okay so this is for now guys so enjoy and and send your repository url after completing this exercise thank you for watching if you find this video helpful just hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel because it motivates me a lot and see you in the next video till then bye